Welcome to Career Deep Training Solutions. Myself Mohan and this is session 1 on time and work. This video gives you a basic idea about the relationship between time, total work and efficiency. For your easy understanding, I will put these jargons in an example. Let us imagine a manager gives his employee a bundle of books. The bundle contains 8 books. Here we can assume each book as an unit. So the employee now has 8 units to be completed. If we complete all the 8 units, then 100% of the work is completed. Right? So he have 8 units to be completed, so which is 100%. But it is possible for the employee to read only 2 books per day. It means his efficiency is only 2 units per day. So if he reads only 2 units, in how many days the total work will be completed? He will take 4 days to complete the work. So here the 4 days is time and efficiency of the person is 2 units per day. Assume if the same manager gives the same work to another employee with the efficiency 4 units per day, then the job will be completed in 2 days. right? So if the same job is handed to another person with the efficiency 8 units per day, then the job will be completed in 1 day. So if the same work handed to an another person with the efficiency 16 units per day, then the job will be completed in half a day. So if you closely observe this number, then we can come to a conclusion when the total work is constant. So here the total work is 8 units. The time is inversely proportional to efficiency. That means when the efficiency increases, time obviously decreases when the total work is kept constant constant so this is the basic relationship between time efficiency and total work we will try to put this concept in an example so here you have an example a is twice efficient as b b can complete a job in 20 days independently in how many days a alone can complete the same work so here the ratio of efficiency of A and B is given. So efficiency of A and B is 2 is to 1. We know when the total work is constant, efficiency is inverse proportion to time. So the time ratio is 1 is to 2. So in the question it is given, B can complete a job in 20 days independently. So here the 20 days is nothing but 2 parts, right? So if 2 parts is 20 unit, then what is this 1 part belongs to? one part is half of these two parts so which is 10 days so if b can complete the job in 20 days a will complete the same job in how many days 10 days i hope that you understood this concept right now let us move into example 2 anu is thrice efficient as banu and can complete a job 10 days earlier than her in how many days banu can complete the whole work so anu, anu is thrice efficient as banu right so anu is thrice efficient as Banu. So the efficiency of Anu and Banu is 3 is to 1. So what is the time taken ratio? It is inverse proportion, right? So the time taken ratio is 1 is to 3. So Anu is completing the job 10 days earlier comparing to Banu. So here the difference between Anu and Banu's work is 10 days. So here in this ratio the difference between Anu and Banu is 3 minus 1 2x. So here this 2x is nothing but how many days? 10 days. Right? So here the difference between Anu and Banu is 10 days. So if 2 parts is 10 days, what is 1 part? 1 part is 5, day, 5 days. So here the question is, in how many days Banu can complete the whole work? So Banu will complete the whole work in 3 parts. So 3 into 5, it is 15 days. I hope that you understood the concept, right? In upcoming videos, we shall discuss the different models from time and work so that you will get the concept clearly. So before winding up this channel, please subscribe it, click the like button, share the video to your friends. If you have any doubt on this topic, please pause it on the comment section below. Don't forget to click the bell button. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.